Hey, what is happening, everybody? It's your old pal, Mr. Butter, coming back at you again. This time, I want to get into a pair of dunks that I grabbed off the finish line. These did drop at a handful of retailers online, but they are coming to Nike.com later this week. If you're into kicks and you feel like hanging out, then hit that subscribe button. Let's take a look at these Sashiko Dunk Lows. So it seems like we've been getting a ton of dunks lately and I have reviewed a ton of dunks on the channel. This one is a little bit different and a little bit unique so I am kind of feeling these more than what I am the masses that we just keep getting with all this fake leather material but we'll get into that here in a minute. We have a standard Nike box, nothing out of the ordinary there, nothing to go over with it. The tag reads Nike Dunk Low Retro SE, so it is a special edition. I think because it is an SE, the price was 120 US dollars instead of 110, which we see most of the time on Dunk Lows. But the colors are Summit White and Industrial Blue. My preferred size is a size 10, which is what I got. I got these whenever I picked up my UNC Jordan 5s, and I used a coupon together on both pairs, so I got like $10 off of each pair, so I probably ended up paying $110 plus taxes for these. And right off the bat, I love that industrial blue color. I think that looks so nice. I don't know if this is denim. It really feels like denim but the whole shoe it's not that fake leather feeling material if this were going into like the colder weather then i probably wouldn't pay much attention to these just because it's not really a winter time kind of shoe but going into the summer i think these things are dope as long as the weather is nice i don't think it'll be difficult to keep these things looking clean and fresh and I love the way they look. They look really nice, the shape of them is really nice, and I just think they're unique looking to any other dunk that I have. I don't think, I did have a pair of graffiti dunks, and those were mainly canvas, but I actually prefer this material better. It really does feel like just a really heavy denim. I saw on GOAT and some other sites, they're calling these the Sashiko dunks. Sashiko is a term that means tiny jabs and it can be just for decorative stitching but it can also be for mending pieces of cloth together but I think that here on the toe box I think that is Sashiko stitching as well as on the heel tab those white it just looks like a whole bunch of little plus signs but I think it's really neat. It's really interesting looking. Like I said, I love this shade of blue. I also really like how you get the white stitching contrasting on all those panels. Even though I've seen a hundred pairs of dunks and reviewed a hundred pairs of dunks on the channel, I just think these have a unique feel, a fresh look to them. And I definitely appreciate that about these. Getting into the review, you can see that we have a standard tread pattern for dunks it's in that nice industrial blue color it's a nice deep color it almost has like a hint of green to it as well but i really really like this shade of blue but we've got a pivot point in the front nike branding there at the midfoot and we've all seen this dunk tread pattern before very similar to jordan ones as you come up to the midsole i wouldn't call that a bright white it's not sale but it's just got the tiniest little tint to it but i think it looks really really nice looks really clean it almost looks like the upper is a little bit brighter white than what the midsole is maybe that's just me but i think the midsole has just a little bit of a tint to it but it looks really nice and the stitching is the same exact color as that midsole material but then coming up to the upper like i said before it just feels like a really heavy denim material or something it feels softer than canvas but it's definitely heavier than your standard blue jean material but anyhow for the mug guard and all the overlays we get that industrial blue color and i really really like that shade of blue but i love these white accents that you get from the stitching i love that they gave us a little bit of contrast there just something unique 
and I also really like the white going around these eyelets up here at the top of the shoe I think that's a nice accent as well and then on the heel tab where we usually see Nike branding I think it's really neat that we just have that little stitched in design and for the base of the shoe we just get that nice white color and again it just feels like a really heavy denim but on the toe box instead of perforations we just get all those little plus signs stitched in and it's a really neat effect the stitching is in that industrial blue color and it looks pretty cool but like i said there's no perforations i don't think these shoes would be overly hot or anything though just because of that but then you can also see that white denim material on the sides as well as on the back around the collar we do get the classic rosa stitching like we always get on dunks and that looks nice and it looks like for our tongue they gave us more of that white material more of that white denim feeling material and the piping going along the edges is in that industrial blue as well as the tag is blue but it has white nike branding on there it's just got a really clean look to it the laces almost look like they're a brighter white than what the material on the shoe is maybe it's just my eyes playing tricks on me but it almost looks like the upper and the midsole have a little bit of a tint but then the laces look bright white but either way i think it looks nice they didn't come with any spare laces or anything but i think these look good in it and then our sock liner is blue as well as the insole is blue and it's got white nike branding down on there but that was a pretty quick look at these Sashiko Dunk Lows. It makes me think of a pair of fours. There's a pair of fours that are called the Sashiko Jordan Fours. And I always wanted them. I've never owned them. And I think resale prices for them are around like 400 bucks. And I didn't want them that bad. But I don't see these doing crazy numbers or anything like that. I just appreciate that it's a unique presentation of a Dunk Low. But let me know what you all think about them. I appreciate you all watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. I'm out.